stay till end and participate in kirtan it is best it is best so it will influence it to audience devotees for example also it is best but normally it is not happening in all cases all everywhere almost <laughs> yeah. 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 so it is not best but best is if all will come and participate from beginning in kirtan it is best but we have been looking from our parampara guru and acharya also this is normal not happening but still we should not think there is a mistake only it depends upon the which kind of senior devotee we we should not apply for all kind of senior devotee in physical only physically bold it is not only if like gurudev and senior vaishnavas who are very realized if they order then we should follow because those who are senior in realization 24 hours they do bhajan so when they order that is our bhajan we to follow but uh, taking this advantage we should not apply for everyone so those who are not so realized they should also participate in kirtan always then it is good and even who is realized in bhajan also if he will participate from beginning to end it is more influential by him by his participation audience will be more influenced so it is best one but normally we are unable to follow including myself also not only others sometimes why because it is happening due to so many reason also because sometimes due to lack of time because if you spend only in kirtan all uh, long time then you will have no time for your personal something do so this is one reason also and it depends upon devotees uh, in which they are engaged there are some personal uh, activities for bhajan so the importance is if we engage in kirtan it is best and beneficial but sometimes we are unable to follow this is our own weakness but if because kirtan is sada hari if we do kirtan in kirtan everything is completed but sometimes difficult to practice like tuna de bisuni tuna tarul bisai tuna amanna mangana kirtana sada hari it is very easy but some very difficult to practice also but if all will participate in beginning from kirtan till end of the class it is most beneficial for everyone and a good example for everyone so that no one will have any doubt that he is not following but sometimes it is difficult due to different reasons not only one reason but uh, if everybody will follow it is best one and uh, we are unable to follow due to different reasons sometimes no time sometimes different devotees different uh, personal work and bhajan or any affairs uh, it i have been looking also since our guru vargas also so we have to train that but at least uh, who is attending or but at the beginning of class the process should be continue process means there should be some bhajan uh, few devotees should also start in the process of bhajan then hari katha then ending then there is no harm this is the, the process should be there how many devotees who are attending that is different but it should start with bhajan and end with bhajan how many devotees maybe it is not big problem but if all will all all devotees who are present including senior devotees it is most beneficial and most successful most be blissful normally it is not happening if we try to accomplish this then it is best who so is our guru 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 work they were desiring but it was not happening if we can make this then they will be very happy they will be very very happy because it is not easy to complete always so you will have some problems some senior devotees cannot come but if all will come it is more perfect for everyone good ideal for everyone 
so that no one will have any doubt, no one can go, why that war is not coming. No one can think about it. So he will not commit any offense. And he will learn, oh, if Maharaj will come first, oh, all will run away. No gossiping, no here and then. But if no Maharaj is coming, who are senior, then all the good will not come. They will start gossiping, prajalpa, etc. But when Maharaj is coming, all will come also. So it is good, but if we follow and practice, if you make it, although it was not successful for time also, during our Guru Vardas also, but if we can make, they will be very happy. Because it is approved by Mahaprabhu, Guru Varga, they want also. But sometimes we cannot imitate them. Because when Gurudev and senior Vaishnava, they are becoming old and their body is not letting to sit long time. So if we expect them only to sit always, you cannot expect this all, always. So that time we should not think, they, they should come and sit always. So it is because neophyte devotees qualification is different. Medium devotees qualification is different. High class devotees qualification is different. High class devotee, Uttam Bhagavata, wherever he stays, he can do bhajan. If he sleeps also, he is bhajan. So we should not think why he is not coming. So it depends upon the level of devotee. But it will be blissful and helpful if all will come. For example, if Mahabhagavata or high class devotee is present only, it is very beneficial for everyone. Because by his angle of vision, by his eyes, by his glance, all will be benefited. Yes. But it is not happening because it is difficult to, to get uh, the opportunity for devotee also. Because we need to pray to Guru, Vaishnava and Krishna to give this opportunity so that he can have it. Because to get the association of uh, elevated Vaishnava is always also not easy. This will happen when Krishna wants to do it. And this is also one weakness of ourself also. This is one weakness of senior spoke, I spoke due to different reasons. And this is the weakness of our also on behalf of our. We are unable to attract them. We should also attract them in such a behavior, such a humility, such a request, so that they will be bound to come. We have also weakness. We have no such a request to bring them. We have not uh, such a behavior to attract them to come at the beginning. But if we should change our behavior, oh please Maharaj, if you come it is better. We feel very nice if you participate in Kirtan. Like this, because no, there is no one I think here who does not like Kirtan. If he does not like Kirtan, he is no more Gauri, Gauri Vaishnava. <laughs> no, he is not Rupanu at all. So everyone loves Kirtan. But only we need a proper, for example, speakers speaking depends upon listener. According to the quality of listener, speakers' uh, words will come. Similarly, according to our request, according to our prayer, Vaishnava's uh, mind will become and heart will be melt. So if we request some words again and again, he cannot deny. One day uh, I will try tomorrow. <laughs> then again, <laughs> again tomorrow if you ask you, he cannot deny. At least five few minutes he will come. After that, if you continue this requesting, then the time will come, he is bound to adjust his schedule differently. He will take out his other his personal affairs out of the Harinam Sankirtan and class. So he will keep some time for Sankirtan and class. After that, he will do his all personal affairs. But we are not acquainted and um, habituated like this. So you have to introduce this, to change this. Because why this is happening? We are not only responsible, our Guru Vargas are responsible. Because they also continue like this. They continue like this. Because we have seen also, our Guru Vargas, they were not cutting, coming from the beginning. They were coming to end. So we are, we are very expert how to imitate. <laughs> not expert how to follow. Yes. So this impressed in our heart now. So this impression should be omitted only by changing our mood again. So this is the best, but we, we need to again make it applicable. Then okay. Understood? Maharaj. Hmm. So I was Loudly. Yeah. Uh, even That's my... Just no, switch it, I don't need a mic. But they, they, no, they need a the mic. Okay. 
So last last night, testing, 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 testing. Okay. So last night, I uh, was talking with Vijay and and Saraswati and some devotees, and it sounded like you were mentioning all the ingredients uh, to add to the point of uh, kirtan being so important. This um, Kali Yuga uh, practice. So it sounds like the metaphor of having all the ingredients of a sandwich, but then before and after having the bread to hold the sandwich and make it like grain, like very grounded and, and dialed in. Does this sound like um, appropriate sort of a metaphor? Like the, the, the sandwich is not a sandwich without the bread. They don't have sandwiches in India. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but you yeah. uh, <laughs> nowadays sandwich is available. Yes. Nowadays, <laughs> nowadays available. But still it is not a completely appropriate example. Okay. If you sandwich is not a completely yeah. appropriate yeah. example, why? Yeah. Because bhakti is rasa. <coughs> rasa is liquid. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, but sandwich is not liquid. Maharaj is going to sing Sharma. Send the mic over. Send the mic. 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 Send the so I was just saying that um, he brought up this example or this analogy, but actually our, our Srila Prabhupada, he also gave such an analogy for the daily practice of our Krishna consciousness movement, how he instituted morning program and the evening program, and it was always very strict that the, everyone would attend, everyone. Mangalarti and uh, Japa and then class and then during the daytime there would be lots and lots of service and preaching and everything else and then in the evening time again devotees would assemble for Arti and class and Prabhupada called this uh, the Iskan sandwich. <laughs> yes, no, no. Yeah. yeah, the Iskan sandwich. Because, and then he used to also say in the early 70s, he wrote a couple of letters, 70, 71, like that, that, you know, your daily program should be so complete and full. He said, just like a, a glass of milk, that if you, if you have a glass of milk that is so full, even over the rim, you know, then if you pour ink, it will just slide out the side. It won't go into the milk, right? But if it's a little bit not full, then the ink can go in. So he said that in the same way, we should be so 100%, even more than 100% engaged, and then there's no question of Maya. He gave that instruction quite in the beginning, around 1969-70, he started to tighten everything up, you know, make it complete so that the devotees are doing 24 hours. Because otherwise, how will we come to the standard of pure bhakti, anya bilashita shunyam, jnana karma dhyanavritam, anukulyena krishna anushilanam. And anushilanam means constant flow. Like uh, often the example is given like when you pour honey, honey, that there's no drops, it's just a stream of honey. So bhakti has to become like that. And in the beginning stage, when someone is just learning how to do sadhana bhakti, that this is very, very beneficial that they're doing it continuously, 24 hours, and all of their waking moments are utilized fully for the process of bhakti, the nine limbs of bhakti. And uh, then when somebody, when their head hits the pillow, then psh, gone for six hours, and then again, another 18 hours of bhakti, like that. How do you think? You don't So, so uh, in this regard, Maharajas, it's okay. No, 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 no. I'll speak loudly. I'll speak loudly. I want to hear from the speakers. Okay. 
So we've also been told that this process. They said they can hear in the kitchen. It's okay. This process. Uh, it's not that first we have to become perfect, then preach. Um, but by preaching, then. So this being the case, kirtan. This is the essence. This is very sweet and attractive for everybody, both to offer and to hear. So if this is so, then surely the main thing is we can just do kirtan, no need to become perfect, no need to get to, you know, if we can't follow very strictly, no problem. Then just perform kirtan anyway and everything will be wonderful. Is that true? Not complete true. Something true. Baba Rasa says, due to the circumstances, they are allowed to everyone to preach. But it does not mean that we no need to perfect. Unless you perfect and go to preach, you cannot succeed. Because you will have no power. When you are perfect and you are doing own bhajan, when you have bhajan power, when others will see, they will be influenced. But if you are not perfect, if you speak also, they will not follow you. You have no power. But when our Acharyas are preaching, sometimes they need follow. When beginning, where from they will bring? So they, they are trying to engage who are present, in which category they may be, what qualification they have. So they should preach according to their ability. So it was something is better than nothing. Something is better than nothing. It does not mean that who is coming, you engage in preaching and he will be successful. Impossible. He cannot be successful. That's why mostly when a devotee attains Madhyam Adhikar, if he preaches, he will be successful. But Connishtas man cannot be successful. He will do something, but it is something is better than nothing. So, our Acharya just engage with this. Why? Because there was no other way. Man power is necessary to preach. So, who was present, he was, they, they were engaged with them for preaching. But it is most appropriate if a qualified preacher will preach, that will be more influential and uh, beneficial and uh, successful. So, Apane Acharya Dharma, Karai Pracha. Apane Acharya Dharma, Karai Pracha. Uh, Mahaprabhu said to Haridas Thakur, yesterday was Haridas Thakur's disappearance day, Apane Achari Dharma Karai Prasa, Apane Achari Dharma Karai Prasa, Prachara Karena Kaya Nakare Achara, Achara Karena Kaya Nakare Prachara, Achara Prachara Tumi Karo Dui Kajya, Atayav Tumi Jagatara Arjiyo. Mahaprabhu Swar. So, our Achara Dhesh Guru Varga, they did something and they sent everyone. So we should not explain. Take this. Sorry? Can you it translate? Ah. <coughs> I am translating. Okay. But only giving this, then I will translate. Then, we, so, we may, because I know this, that our S.C. Bhaktivedan Swami Prabhupada, he was sending to everyone. He started here in West. So, it does not mean that uh, it is only we, everyone we should send and to preach. Because there was no other way. Now, if you would have come, he would send them qualified. Because at that time no one was qualified. They all were new. So there was no way to send to others. So he was sending to everyone. But if there is an option of qualified and non-qualified, he would send only qualified. Because he knows, he does not mean that he does not know. He knows qualified will be successful. And all unqualified cannot be successful. So qualifieds are always appreciated to send, because they will be sure successful. Why? Mahapurus Vardhi. Achara Parenankeva Nakare Prachara. Many devotees, they are practicing, but they don't preach. Prachara Parenankeva Nakare Achara. And many are preaching, but they don't follow. They don't practice themselves, only speaking. They are also not the best. And Achara Prachara Tumi Kara Dui Karja. But Haridas Tagur, Mahapurus said, you are practicing yourself and teaching others, preaching. So, Achara Prachara Tumi Kara Dui Karja. You are doing both. 
you are practice you are not only telling you chant hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari you are chanting yourself 300 3 lakh 300000 every day you are chanting 3 lakh not only chanting you are going to preach with the nityananda prabhu so you are best preacher why because asar prasad tumi karo dui karyo you are following do both so tumi jagat raj that way you are your best first superior so one who only speaks uh, instead of other to chant chant but he does not chant he is not appropriate he is not ideal and one who only chants but not preaching also not so appropriate why he, he is considered like a selfish for himself only mm. but one who is preaching and uh, practicing himself both like a Thakur, then he is the best one according to Mahaprabhu Arjiya means he is Shrestha Arjiya means Shrestha he is superior for example if you have some food, if you are eating, what quantity of happiness you will release? But if you eat yourself and give that food to eat others also, and if you eat together, if you see they are also eating with your help, you will feel more happiness. What happiness you are releasing by eating yourself? But if you see that others are also eating with you by your food, and they are feeling happy, when you are looking them and their happiness, your happiness will be multiplied. So, and this will happen by qualified person. So, a neophyte and a conista dhikari, he can go to preach, it is something than, something better than nothing, something is better than nothing, <coughs> but it is not uh, successful, because he doesn't know how to preach, he doesn't know what is the philosophy. Only just he will um, speak to people, but if some argument comes, he cannot refute. He cannot make understand them. Then he will be successful. And this kind of preachers, after a few months, they are falling down also and going back home. So, but something is better than nothing. So, if all will be engaged, it is okay. Our answer is the deity also. But it does, we, t- we should not take this as an ideal example. Because due to some circumstances, they are doing. If there is possibility or option of so many qualified, then they will send only qualified. Because they know that unqualified cannot be successful. And they will create problems. So, when option is there, option should be only qualified. Yeah. Uh, Maharaj. My. Um, I actually had a question. Turn it on. It's on. Uh, I had a question right in line with this, so I'm glad it came up. On the flip side of this, so if I'm doing Sankirtan, but I'm not following, maybe I have a girlfriend, or I'm doing some drugs or something, but I'm doing Sankirtan, or if I'm singing a Kirtan, and I, I can sing very nice, but maybe I'm not following so strongly, what is the result of those who hear me? Is it good for them, even though it's Sankirtan, it's gold itself, so maybe I can't contaminate so much? But yes, I already spoke, something is better than nothing. <laughs> so what you have, they can get that. Okay. They cannot get what a Mahabharata can give. They cannot get what a Madhya Madhikari can give. So they, they will get what you have. So, so something they are getting, so it is better than nothing. So, no problem. In this consideration, our Acharya is sending it everyone. So, at least some benefit they will get. Okay. So, no problem. But only more benefit is by qualified. Preachers, qualified by Any Sukriti is good Sukriti. Sorry? Any Sukriti is good Sukriti. Yeah. Maharaj, I have one more question. Yeah. <clears throat> So I, I need understanding on something you said last night about Krishna's 96 hero forms. Uh, you know, besides Kirtan, this loving relationship between Radha and Krishna is the most attractive thing for me personally. It keeps my, my attempt going. So you said something like along the lines of Radha, Sri Radha's Padini Shakti her her potency of desire is creating these 96 forms? Is that how 
uh, I should understand that, that actually she's creating these hero forms by her desire. She directly not to manifesting. She is also root cause of Swarupa Shakti. So, Swarupa Shakti creating all the Manifesting in three forms, Sandhini, Ladini, Sambhi. So, Sandhini Shakti creating all these forms. Sandhini. But, uh, indirectly, like uh, yesterday I was speaking and we are discussing also, Krishna does not create. But we say Krishna is creator also. In the same way we are saying Radharani is doing everything. Personally, it does not do. Secrets of Shema Bhagavatam. Mm. And in the early part of that book, mm. he says that the sages who were uh, in the forest, who saw Lord Ram, mm. that they became so attracted to him, yeah. and from that deep desire, Ram promised that in the future, uh, <clears throat> a manifestation and a future incarnation of as Sri Krishna, mm. that they would have it. He would fulfill their desires. Mm. And uh, Gurudev said that they were performing uh, austerities and and bhajan for I think he said by that time sixty thousand years or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, between the two uh, appearances, lacks and lacks and lacks same. So he said that when they saw Lord Ram, that they were like fish. And they were not like fish that if you take out of water, that the fish die. They, he said their, their, their bhajan was somewhat not so strong. He said, by comparison to us, there's no comparison. Much far, far, far superior. So when we hear this, uh, somebody with a mind like mine, I think, oh my God, it's uh, uh, the attainment of bhakti, the attainment of perfection, of what our acharyas are giving, in one, from one perception, seems so far, far, far away. Mm. And then, especially if one is self-critical, you look at yourself and you say, I'm nothing. So how do we keep this in mind, mm. this goal, mm. and also maintain our enthusiasm for going the long distance? If the, if yes, yes. Do you understand yes, what I'm asking? So, it was in Treta Ju, but we are in Kali Ju now. Mm -hmm. So, we should not be worried. <laughs> <laughs> but we're worried, but we're worried no, all the Kali Ju has special mercy. <laughs> Kali Ju has special mercy. Why? Because Mahaprabhu can minimize the time. Yes. Ramachandra may not. But Mahaprabhu is more compassionate than Ramachandra. So, in Ramachandra time, maybe thousand, thousand years, no problem. Right. But in Kali Ju, we don't need thousand, thousand years. Okay. It can be, you know, one or two life possible, if Krishna wants. Mm -hmm. So, we should try to please Krishna with six-fold Saranayati. That is, Anukulyasa Sankalpa, Pratikulya Vivarjanam, Rakhi Satiti Vishwasa, Gotrute Varam Tatha, Atma Nikhepa Karpanya Sarva Sarvidha Saranagati. If we strictly follow this, then time will be minimized. How? Mahaprabhu gave an example. In his past time, that when he was giving benediction to all devotees, he invited everyone. 
and he indicated name, you call that devotee, you call that devotee, and he was giving different boons, but he did not ask to Mukunda. He did not ask to Mukunda. Then all devotees surprised him. Oh, Mahaprabhu, you gave boon to everyone, even those devotees are not so important, you called everyone and gave. Because in our competition there were so many devotees who are not uh, so elevated than Mukunda. But you called them. We, to whom we were not expecting that you will give the boon. You gave to all of them. But you know, we, we know that Mukunda is very superior, very nice singer, etc. But why you are not giving to him? Please, please call him. Then Mahaprabhu said, no, Mukunda is a Ghatsatya. I cannot give him. He is not qualified to get. Ghatsatya <coughs> means, huh? means, means Mukunda is like Khichdi. Khichdi. <laughs> Mukunda has no nishtha, no ananya bhakti. Means no unalloyed devotion, no pure devotion. Why? Khichdi. Means now says glorifying bhakti, bhakti, bhakti. If a karmi comes and karmi says, oh, work is God, work is God, you have to work, you have to perform karma and otherwise how? Yes, that is just true. Yes, okay. When he uh, is meeting with the Gyanis, oh, only Brahma. Brahma is for you. Everywhere is Sarvam, it is written, Sarvam Khalidam Brahma, Pragyanam Brahma, Tattvamasi. So, he was saying, yes, that is just true. He was not trying to put the superiority of devotion. Wherever he was going, yes, 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 everything okay. So, this cannot attract me. And this kind of devotee cannot be my pure devotee. He cannot attract me. So, wherever we go, we may reconcile only, not to put the superiority of that one. Superior is always devotion. If we may meet with the Gyanis, Karmis, but we cannot say karma, karma is superior. We cannot say Gyan is superior. When they say that also, we are, we are ready to give up that. If they are not agree, but we should not uh, accept them that this is superior. But Mukunda was doing this. To please them. To please them, wherever he was going, he was not telling the truth. Because he was uh, desiring name and fame. So, his person, it does not mean that he has been. Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us, through him, that we should not become like that. We should present our Guru Varasa philosophy, which is true which is bona fide, which is uh, uh, practiced by our Acharyas Goswamis, they presented, we should present them. But our Acharyas Guru Varga, they glorified only devotion is superior. When we don't follow, and we have some personal desire to get name and fame, so that people will love me, etc. Mm. And we are in, being influenced by them, and glorifying them, and minimizing the bhakti, then Mahaprabhu will not be happy. And this defect was in Mukunda, so he did not call him. Then Mahaprabhu when said this, then all devotees became silent. Then all devotees, when one after the other came, Mukunda went to ask the devotee, Oh, devotees, please tell me what is going on there in Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu gave to everyone the blessing, different, different boons. But what about me? Then. Devotee said, Mahaprabhu is angry with you. <laughs> Mukunda said, why? Because you are like Ghatsatya. What is Ghatsatya? Means you are like Khichdi. You have no nishtha, no unalloyed devotion. Then Mukunda little assembled. Mahaprabhu does not like. Then he asked, if Mahaprabhu is not satisfied, then I want to know. Let Mahaprabhu speak that I will attain his mercy or not, I will attain his boon or not, I want to know this. Then the devotee went to ask to Mahaprabhu. Oh Mahaprabhu, Mukunda is asking that you will attain his blessing or not, he will be liberated or not from this problem. Then Mahaprabhu said, Mukunda cannot be attained my boon till one crore like. Ten million. Crore. Crore means ten million. In India, oh, you have a habit of crore, koti, koti, habit. Yes. So, millionaire, these are not oh, so common there. So, koti means 10 million. 
So, till 10 million lifetime, Mukunda cannot get my blessing. Then that devotee became surprised. Because 10 million lifetime, one lifetime is very difficult. You, we see, one life how can put. And after 10 million life, he will attain Mahaprabhu's blessing. So, that devotee became surprised. But it is Mahaprabhu's desire, what to do? Then that devotee came and um, Mukunda asked, what Mahaprabhu said? Did you spoke about me? Did you speak about me? Then he said, yes, I spoke. Then what Mahaprabhu said? Mahaprabhu said, after one crore life or ten million life only, he will get my mercy. Not now. Then Mukunda said, Mahaprabhu spoke me, really? From his lotus mouth? Yes, I, I am witness. I witnessed this. Then Mukunda started dancing. <laughs> With ecstasy and happiness, he started dancing. Oh, now I am very happy that Mahaprabhu guaranteed that after 10 million I will be sure qualified to attend his mercy. But nobody can guarantee. But I am, I am guaranteed. <laughs> so, in this hope he started dancing in ecstasy. But other devotees no guarantee. But to Mukunda, Mahaprabhu gave guarantee that after 10 million he will have boon and my blessing. Then Mukunda started dancing. And that devotee is surprised. How? After 10 million, but he is in ecstasy and dancing. <laughs> then that devotee again went to Mahaprabhu. Then Mahaprabhu asked, what about Mukunda? You spoke my words? Yes, I spoke. Then what did happen? What Mukunda spoke? Then that devotee spoke that after listening this, your instruction to Mukunda from me, he started dancing in ecstasy. Then why? Because he should have disappointed. But why he danced? Then he said that it is really I blessed by Mahaprabhu. Others have no guarantee. But I have a guarantee that after 10 million, I have to suffer for 10 million. No more that. So he is dancing in the ecstasy with big hope but that you will bless him after 10 million life. Then Mahaprabhu became very happy. In, in his strong faith on him. In his sincerity, strong faith like before I was speaking, Sarvida Sanayati, Rakhi Shatiti Vishwas. That sure Krishna will protect me. So Mukunda had this Sanayati. That sure after 10 million, no problem. But after 10 million lifetime, sure I will attain mercy of Mahaprabhu. So with this sincerity and strong faith on Mahaprabhu's word, Mahaprabhu was completely satisfied. And he said, you call Mukunda. <laughs> <laughs> so 10 million lifetimes, one moment. One moment became. Uh, so minimize it to one moment. Yeah. So this is in Mahaprabhu's time and we are in his time. So Mahaprabhu can minimize 10 million, if, he, if Mahaprabhu can minimize 10 million life into one moment, what to about 100 years or 200 or 1000? So no problem. <laughs> we are in Mahaprabhu's time now. Uh, so we should not lose them. Now one person. Yeah, now Mahaprabhu's time is there. So rest tomorrow. Now sending. So you see, now I am looking very blissful. All Maharajas are here. And Kirtan is here. So this is making devotees joyful. Padana Maharaj is here. Padana Maharaj, all are here. Dhagat Maharaj also. So this will make all devotees blissful. So we should try to uh, continue like this better. Saru Sangha. Yes. Naam Kirtan. Saru Saru Sangha Naam Kirtan. Yes. Dhagat Sravan. Vidu Raja Vasa. Vidu Raja Vasa. Vidu Raja Vasa. Yes. Vidu Raja Vasa is key. Who will sing? Gora 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 Gora
Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 